Good morning. This is Deanna from Albuquerque's Old Town. This morning, I want you to meet a very important, vital member of the Silver Sun family. Please meet Etta and Dito. Etta, where are you from? Crown Point, born and raised there. What tribe are you then? I'm a Diné, Navajo, and Clam. I'm a Tango Water, born into a bit of water. Well, today I will be using a Royston stone, which I'm going to make into a cardboard pendant just like this one. The first step is bezeling the stone. So you just um, try and shape it with the plier. Hold it, wrap it around it, make your mark here, and cut it. Just solder in here the seam area. The next thing is cutting the um, bottom part, the sheet. This will sit on here, which I will be soldering. Now I'm going to put sterling stamp. Oh, you're signing it on the back. And, and then flatten it. I have to dip it into flux. Using flux is very important, which makes the solder flow. This is a solder, a number 65. You have to have the right amount of heat for the solder to flow. Oh my goodness. It just runs all the way around in uh -huh. the side. And once you're done, shut it off. You dip it in the acid right here, which cleans it. And every time you take it out of the acid, you have to rinse it in water. And we wipe it off. You wipe it off. And next step is using a seven triangle. So the end part of this triangle kind of wire. Here to shape this wire. Oh my goodness. Onto the shape of the stone. Okay. Get your saw again. You be careful here that it doesn't overlap. You solder it onto the plate. It doesn't you won't really see the seam. Where it was soldered. It's almost to the shape that I want it to be at. There we go. Now that I'm done shaping it, flux on it, around it, where it's going to be soldered. Oh, right around underneath next to the back Underneath plate. the triangle wire. This one's going to take a little longer to heat up because of the thickness of the wire. And it, I just put it in the Acid, oh. let it get clean. Oh, look, saw the angle. Angle of the triangle. Oh, sure. I'll put the angle. Well, that's done. I just need to grind it in here. Smooth this out. Now I'm going to do a measure on where I'm going to be making the lines. So you can see these lines. Oh, I see. You here. find the center of the, the piece, the geographic yes. center, if you will. Huh. Then you mark your lines. Oh, this is for the saw work. Yes. Now I have to do all four, three sides. Let me get this. I'm going to be making, going to be making six lines. Oh, I see. You're making a curve where that little triangle was sawed. Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay, now we're done with this part. I just need to do the Just need bail. to do the bail. Measure. Oh, my. That makes a straight line every time. Every time. And it just gets your snips out. You just take your scissor, cut it. Big the hole will be a lot of geometry in this. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're doing. Measurement. 
Oh, it's all about the measurements. Round it like this. Ah, that's yes. the bill. And if I need to get it round and in shape, I can just get a stamp. Bend oh, it around it like this. Nice to have that handy. Oh, I Work see. with your pliers. Well, you're going to bring the two ends together again. Boy, you mm -hmm. do a lot of that. Take a jump ring. Again, on the jump ring, I can just use any round. A nail or whatever's the right. right. Yeah, the right side. That's a nice way to make a bunch of jump rings, my goodness. Yes, and you come to your bits, put a little bit of a flux on you here. A famous on flux. This one. Solder wire. Silver solder wire. 65 again, number, number 65. 65. And then you just heat this little area. Okay. So there you go. Just snap it like that. More magic stuff here. More magic flux. Just a little bit on the top. Bit of it. Okay. Hold it in wow. and just heat up the whole piece up. Then you leave it in the acid for like at least 30 minutes to get it real clean. Real nice and clean. Mm -hmm. there you go. So now Checking. You have, now you check or everything. solder spots. Solder spots and lumps and. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. To make it look more like a shadow box. Uh huh. Inside here. It brings up the drama. And then the lines so you can see. Wipe it dry and next step is to do the high shine. So now you're going to set the stone into the final high buff piece. If you have a very thick stone, you don't need to put salt dust. The thinner the stone, the more salt dust you would need to raise the stone. It's not all evenly cut this, so it usually is with a natural stone. Oh, well, more so stone. the one side that's thinner, I'm going to put more salt dust in there. Oh, I so see. It has to be balanced with the shape of the... I see what see. you're doing. So the salt dust might be a little, just a little thicker or thinner. On one side. So that the stone looks even on the top. Mm -hmm. just see. Yeah. Press the bezel, bezel in and tighten the stone. Oh my, and you do the corners first? Mm-hmm. Oh. Hit right here. That's your finished Thank piece Thank you so right much, Anna, for this wonderful demonstration.